Hey guys, what's playing behind me right now is a, uh, pretty sure this video just came out today. I'll link it in my description. This is some art, that's what I'm blocking right now. RTX on, can I, can I get out of the way? It says RTX on, uh, uh, green screens are confusing. There, RTX on. So here's Cyberpunk 2077 with RTX on. Developers talking about what they feel like that adds to the uh, reflections, the shadows, all of that. And I know I've seen in my comment section lately that a lot of you guys, when you're thinking about should you upgrade, do you need to buy one of these new GPUs? Should you just wait it out? Do you care about ray tracing? For a lot of people, the answer has been Cyberpunk 2077. This game keeps getting delayed, but <laughs> we should actually be seeing it uh, finally in what what is it, another couple of weeks? Uh, three weeks, something like that. Um, it's coming out soon, ish. You know, <laughs> and um, we, uh, you know, look at these. I mean, the ray tracing shadows look pretty amazing here, um, and the reflections look pretty amazing. I'm going to be honest; it looks good. And this is coming from somebody who, myself, generally isn't a ray tracing user. I usually turn it off. I'd rather have the frames per second than the ray tracing on. And I'll be honest, that still might be where I go with this game, because the other thing we've seen released today is the system requirements. And I ab can I just say I love CD Projekt Red? Um, because they're actually delivering system requirements on a resolution and um, RTX on versus RTX, uh, RTX off type of basis, which I think is absolutely fantastic, and I wish more games would do that. If you're trying to decide, yeah, the December 10th, there we go. Uh, if we're trying to decide if you need to upgrade for a game, you need to know what resolution the target is, because sometimes games are like recommended settings is this GPU, and it's like, is that for 1080 or is that for 4K or 1440p? Um, so anyway, I'm very, very happy that NVIDIA, it, not NVIDIA, geez. <laughs> I'm not an NVIDIA shill, guys. Uh, I'm very, very happy that uh, Cyberpunk uh, has posted this. So let's take a look here. So system requirements. We can actually answer the question, do you have to upgrade for Cyberpunk 2077? Well, you need to decide, do you want to be RT on or do you want to be RT off? And do you want to be playing at high, uh, minimum recommended high or ultra settings? Uh, that kind of a thing. Do you want to, um, uh, you know, do you want to be playing at a 1080p, 1440p, 2160p resolution? We've got a lot to dig into here, guys. So if you just like, I want to play the game. I just want to play the game, okay? I just want to play the game. Uh, 1080p monitor, and I don't care if I have to turn everything to low. I'm all about the gameplay. Okay, well, you're going to need, uh, you know, and uh, what do you, what do we got to get? Yeah, i5, 3570K, so, uh, you know, or AMD, you got your eight gigabytes memory, GTX 780, RX 470, only three gigabytes of VRAM needed, uh, lots of storage space, you know, an SSD recommended. Um, so basically, if you just want to play the game, you know, honestly, that GPU requirement is not that bad. So, uh, and we've seen this from them, I think with Witcher 3, like Witcher 3 could run on a lot of systems if you just turn all the settings down. So um, it's looking like that's gonna be the case here for Cyberpunk as well. Turn all the settings down and you're gonna have a decent experiment, uh, experience. Okay, so now let's look at 1080p high settings, uh, The so recommended here. So 1080p high settings, uh, they're actually recommending 12 gigabytes of memory. Now, that's not VRAM, that's system memory. Now, a lot of people could be hit by this, and we don't know what performance impact that's actually going to have, um, but a lot of people, uh, you know, uh, several years ago, the recommendation was if you're a budget con uh, conscious PC builder, go for 8 gigabytes of RAM because things don't really need 16. And, you know, you might still be running that eight gigabyte system if you've been hanging on to your, your, your components for a while now. Well, they are recommending 12 gigabytes if you want to bump up from low settings. Keep that in mind. Okay, they're up, uh, recommending at least six, six gigabytes of VRAM and the specific cards being a 1060 or a 1660 Super uh, or an RX 590. So compare that to what you have. If you don't have one of these cards and you're like, how do I interpret this? Um, look at 
general like graphics cards charts, you know what I mean? Like like some benchmarks of games and see that that has these cards in it and your card in it. Find that and look at where does your card fall relative to this, right? Is it way below this or is it about the same or is it a little bit better? So that's how to interpret these, by the way, if you don't have one of these particular cards. Now, most of you already knew that, but maybe some of you guys are new to PC gaming. You weren't sure how to compare. So find, find performance charts that compare your card to this card. Um, and then you'll have an idea of how close you meet these, these specs. All right, so high 1440p. Uh, these are the same. If you want to run at 1440p at ultra settings, what do you actually need? Ooh, you know, by the way, I haven't actually read this chart yet. I'm reading this with you guys, okay? So I'm actually nervous right now. Do I have enough, okay? Uh, by the way, this is all ray tracing off right now. RT on is over here. And mm. Anyway, uh, so 1440p ultra settings. Uh, so we want an i7-4790 or a Ryzen 3 3200G. You still want the 12 gigabytes of RAM. They're recommending a RTX 2060 or a 5700 XT with at least six gigabytes of VRAM. I'm actually really happy right now. Okay, as some of you guys have been watching my channel for a while know, and by the way, thank you everybody who has. I can't believe I've already got 3,000 subscribers in like a month and a half of doing YouTube. You guys are awesome, thank you. Um, anyway, um, I have an RTX 2070, but I also have a 1440p ultra wide monitor. But since they're recommending a 2060 for 1440p, I'm thinking my 2070 might give me enough headroom for the ultra wide. And if it doesn't, I could just letterbox it in. So I'm a very happy person right now, as long as I don't care about ray tracing, right? Okay, let's take a look at 4K again. 4K ultra settings, no, um, no ray tracing. There we go, that's the word I was looking for. No ray tracing. Um, okay, we want the i7-4790, the Ryzen 5 3600. Now they're recommending 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, that's what I have, but I don't have more than that. But at least we're not going above 16 recommended here. They're recommending a 2080 Super or a 3070 for these settings, or a uh, Radeon RX 6800 XT. And then they're recommending at least eight gigabytes of VRAM. And uh, once again, same hard drive recommendations, solid state drive recommendations. Okay, um, so yeah, if you're looking at playing this game at 4K Ultra, then there you go. Now, the, I, as far as I can tell, there's no frame rate thing here, so I'm gonna assume that they're basing this on 60 frames per second average, but that's an assumption by me, not something that the chart actually says. Okay, so if you don't care about ray tracing, if you're RT off, that's the info you needed. If you're thinking RT on, or if you're thinking, should I upgrade to a new card right now for the ray tracing experience in this particular title? And I know people have been saying that they want to do that. I've seen it in my comment section. Let's take a look. So 1080p, medium ray tracing settings. So this is your ray tracing minimum, right? So if you wanna play the game at 1080p with medium, not ultra ray tracing settings, um, they're still recommending 16 gigabytes of system RAM, uh, six gigabytes of VRAM, and an RTX 2060. Again, for me, hey, I can do that, but hey, I also have a 1440p monitor, so, hmm. Uh, so anyway, that's your minimum getting in on the ray tracing, and you're gonna have to decide uh, pretty quickly if you know turning on ray tracing tanks your performance to a point that you'd rather play without it. I think a lot of people are gonna be there. All right, ray tracing high. So this is your 1440p monitor, ray tracing ultra settings. We've got a, a recommended i7-6700, Ryzen 5 3600, uh, 16 gigabytes of system RAM. We got an RTX 3070. Whew. So keep in mind that that's basically, uh, you know, if you're if you're not jumping in on the current cards, uh, if you have a last gen um, uh, NVIDIA card, that's roughly equivalent, not exactly equivalent, but roughly equivalent to a 2080 Ti. So if you have a 2080 Ti or a 3070 or better on the new cards, that's how I would read this. Um, okay, eight gigabytes of VRAM recommended and 70, yeah, same thing on that. We don't need to keep talking about that. Okay, now for those of you uh, edge edge uh, <laughs> edge case people who are actually gaming at 4K, 
um, and wanting to do that with ray tracing on at ultra settings. What do you need here? And I'm, I'm in the way here, guys, look, I can, I can like, I can move myself around here on the green screen. So let me hop out of the way here, okay? <laughs> Let's take a look. Um, so we've got 2160p, so there's your 4K, ultra ray tracing settings. We need an uh, i7-6700, uh, Ryzen 5 3600, uh, 16 gigabytes of system RAM. They're recommending the RTX 3080 and uh, at least 10 gigabytes of VRAM. And that's interesting, right? Because that's been a topic coming up a lot lately, which is our game's gonna start needing 10 gigabytes or more of VRAM. Well, it's at least recommending that you have at least 10 already on a game coming out now. So where you got in a couple of years, but that's not the topic of this video, <laughs> okay? All right, there's the recommended settings. Compare what you have now to these. Now keep in mind, these are recommended. And you could play around by reducing some settings down from ultra, especially your ray tracing settings. Maybe turn your ray, trace, uh, ray tracing off entirely, right? You have a lot of room to play around with here, but these are their recommended specs um, for those. And you can at least get a rough idea now on what you'll, uh, what you'll be capable of performing here. So I'm very interested in the comment section. Are you gonna upgrade your PC for this game? Or have you already upgraded your PC for this game? And can we also get just some love for the fact that they actually gave us this kind of detailed breakdown? Why doesn't every game do this? Games should do this. <laughs> this is fantastic, I love it. All right, I hope you guys have an excellent day.